Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Sandesh Parikh. I am currently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So in this video, we are going to cover the concept which is hierarchical inheritance in C sharp. So before moving to the concept, we will just check uh, what will be the learning outcome after this session. So you will be able to implement the hierarchical concept, okay, inheritance concept in uh, C sharp programming language. So uh, let's focus. Uh, what is actually the hierarchical inheritance? Okay, so it is one type of the inheritance. Okay, and uh, where multiple classes okay derived from uh, one common base class okay it means there is one only parent and uh, multiple child classes are there okay it's like uh, having the multiple kids isn't it uh, the same father okay and uh, he, the he is having the more than one kids okay so it means uh, it is the example of the hierarchical inheritance okay and uh, all hereditary traits from parent, okay, but uh, in their own different ways, okay. Uh, they said that uh, in different way because uh, the kid may be a son, okay, or a, a daughter, isn't it? So, but they are derived from the single uh, base class, okay, but uh, their behavior, okay, may be different, okay. This is the overall uh, concept regarding the hierarchical inheritance, okay. Uh, let's start to implement this concept in the C-sharp. So I'm creating one new uh, solution. Uh, I'm giving the name here. Hierarchical. Okay. So now uh, they have created one uh, namespace obviously and uh, created the program. I don't want this part so I will simply delete this part. Okay. So now uh, we will try to implement the same concept. Okay. So let's start Okay, by the implementation of this uh, program. Uh, we will first uh, take one uh, class which is the parent class okay so let's see call it public class parent okay and then we will write one method inside it uh, i will write the public void okay so i will write display parent ab so this is my method okay and uh, under that I am going to write one simple statement uh, just to print okay that it is under the uh, so a and b are my parents okay this is the simple message I just want to print in this parent class okay so a and b are my parents simple message is there so this is our base class okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is that I will take uh, more than one uh, derived classes okay I say for example we will take two child classes okay so I will write this public then class and then uh, let's say child C okay so it will inherit the parent so I will write this parent here so obviously and uh, it is also containing the method okay let's say yes public and uh, void okay so public void display child c this is my method name isn't it So again here I just want to print one statement 
console dot write line and uh, simple message of uh, that uh, I am the child C. Okay, so this is the simple statement. Isn't it? So this is an example of the first base class. It is inheriting the parent and it is having only one method and it is printing one common statement. Okay. Again, uh, we will start to implement the second uh, derived class, isn't it? Uh, public, let's say class and uh, name is uh, suppose child D. Okay, I am taking these uh, examples. Okay, uh, randomly. Okay, then parent. It is also uh, inheriting the same base class. Okay, so uh, obviously we are implementing the hierarchical. So that's why same base class, multiple derived class. Okay, so let's say public kind void. Okay, and now the method name is uh, let's say display d. Uh, it is child no, so I will write display child d. Okay, so this is my method, and uh, it contains one more statement here that uh, console dot write line. Okay, instead of the I am my child c. Okay, I will write now the I am the child d. Okay, let's assume c is son and d is daughter. Okay, so nothing uh, much serious about this one i am the child d okay so simple one uh, base class and a uh, multiple derived class okay so guys uh, now what i am going to do is that i will create here the two different objects of two different derived classes okay so for example our class name is uh, child d no uh, child D and child C. So I will write child C. Okay. So C C is my object and I will create the new again child C. Obviously, is it it? And uh, one more uh, for the child D. Okay. So child D and uh, C D is equal to new child D isn't it so through this object i am going to access its own methods and plus the parents methods okay so i just want to demonstrate that uh, you can access uh, you have the access rights of parents also okay so for that uh, i will write cc dot uh, display child c first and afterwards cc dot uh, display parent ad and uh, then through this uh, d is okay cd dot then display child d okay and afterwards finally uh, display parent ab isn't it so this is our code okay so i will save this file and i will execute this file as you can see uh, guys this uh, output is there so it is printing i am the child c ab are my parents i am the child d and ab are my parents isn't it so this is the example of the uh, hierarchical inheritance okay so one question for you guys that uh, can we inherit one more derived class from the existing base class okay so you can do it uh, for example here in case if you want one more uh, uh, object okay uh, one more class then it is uh, possible and you can do it simply okay i will show you the demo okay so now uh, instead of this d what i will write i will write this is the e okay and this is the also method display child e and here i just want to replace the e d by e isn't it so here i also uh, again we just have to copy this thing okay so child e and uh, this is child e this is also child e isn't it so instead of this also okay uh, just a second guys uh, some indentation have the problem of this one
okay so now uh, here we have to replace it by e okay so again i am going to save this file c dot tb okay now we will execute this method okay i think some problem is there okay i forgot to uh, remove this part okay chali isn't it so you can see it uh, third base uh, third error class is uh, possible and uh, you can do it okay so there is no limitation regarding the uh, number of child classes in the hierarchical inheritance okay but the situation is that uh, parent class should be same for all of them okay so these are some references i used to make this videos thank you